Hey everyone, welcome back to another Electric 2.0 video. And what we're gonna talk about is battery inspection. Once in a while, I like to pull my battery totally out of the bike and inspect it. Make sure there's no signs of any visible problems or anything going on. And here mine looks pretty good. This uh, black wrapping is electrical tape to help uh, you know keep it more stable inside the bike frame. This is a 10 amp hour battery, by the way. And what I'm looking for when I'm just inspecting it is making sure there's no corrosion or anything on these uh, terminals here. And yeah, I know that you can do this uh, while the battery's inside the bike, but it's a lot easier to be able to actually take the battery out, look at the battery, flip it around, and mine looks really good. Now, for the next step, you want to make sure that you have your key. Obviously, if you're going to check your uh, battery power with a uh, multimeter, you got to have your key to turn your battery on. Now, I also do this to give me an idea of what the actual battery is saying with the multimeter versus what the actual display on the bike is saying. Now, right here, I don't know if you guys can see this. But there is a plus, which corresponds to this terminal here, and a minus that corresponds to this terminal here. Now, what I like to do is I get my multimeter right here, like I have, and you want to make sure you come to the uh, DC setting. This symbol right here is your DC. Now, the battery is 48 volt. So, I'm not going to go 20 volt. 20 volt you can use for a car battery because it's like 12 volt, right? So, I come up to the next highest setting, which is 200. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the corresponding leads right here. Red for positive, black for negative. And I'm going to go ahead and set these down onto the uh, corresponding terminal. And remember, we said that uh, this right one here was our positive. And this one here at the far left was our negative. And, of course, we have to turn the battery on to get the reading. And it is showing 52.8 volts. Now, my bike meter was showing 53.2. So this is another reason I like to do this because there, it's not uncommon for there to be discrepancies between what your bike meter is showing versus what the actual voltage in your battery is sitting at. And that could make a difference between you making it back home or not making it home. Now, while we're on the topic of talking about voltage and batteries, generally your fully charged battery is going to be about 54.6.7 volts. That's what mine is. That's normal for a, uh, a decent battery. Now, considering the bike will pretty much shut off at around, give or take, 43 volts. Now, that does not mean your battery is totally dead. That is the safeguards inside the battery and your controller turning off the battery because if the battery were to be totally sucked dry, totally, totally dead, your battery would be totally ruined. That is the system's way of protecting the battery so you can actually recharge the battery back up. So if you base that ratio, 54.6.7 volts, and then say 43 volts is your cutoff, well, you can find your middle ground, give or take, maybe, you know, half a volt or one volt, plus or minus, depending on the type of battery you have. As I said, though, mine is a 10 amp hour battery. So about 48 volts leaves me about a 50% battery charge. That's from my personal experience in almost two years with the bike. And the one thing I will tell you is if you have a full charge battery, and let's say you've gone 10 miles 
and your battery is down to 48 volts, you are not going to get another 10 miles out of that battery before the bike turns off. The lower the voltage, the faster the battery degrades as far as your power output. And anyone that has been riding these bikes, any electric bike for that matter, knows that you start to see a little drop in your miles per hour, the uh, torque of the motor, et cetera, et cetera. So I always recommend that you are inspecting your batteries. And yes, you can pull your battery out of the bike and charge your battery independently if you want to do that. I leave mine in the bike. I, you know, I pull my battery out about every six months and check it. And that's what this uh, whole video was about. Battery inspection. I check it with my multimeter to compare it with the uh, actual display on the bike. And of course the display is showing I would have a higher amount of voltage in my battery than what I actually have. It's something to get accustomed to doing if you have the right tools to do it, guys. So other than that, just kind of a, well, maybe not so quick video on how to inspect your battery. This is a good safety type of thing as well. You know, pull your battery out of the case, look for any visible signs. I mean, even if the battery is bouncing around inside the uh, case, and some of these batteries will vibrate, vibrate around. You know, it depends on your, your type of setup that you have. Other than that, I hope you guys are keeping safe out there, and I'll see you on the next Electric 2.0 video. Peace.